removing some old shower doors what you want to do is take out the inner door first and put it into the tub the way you do that is lift up on it and swing out the bottom of it towards the tub and then lift it off the track and put it inside the tub then you'll be able to remove the second door in similar fashion I'll show you that here all right taking out some damaged shower doors Going with it, just a curved shower bar, but I uh, want to recycle what I can from the parts for other shower doors that are still being maintained. Just wanted to show you how you can kind of easily do this. Going inside here. What I want is the wheels and the track, and what we can do is take out one screw here from the side. I'll show you on this side, it's probably a little easier. Undo the screw there. That allows us to take apart the frame. That's on film there. Okay. And then we just push this over. And then we can slide out our deal. Sometimes we might have to tap it a little to get it to move over. There we go. Slide it on over. Getting this part out of the way. There we go. Now I can save those for further use. You can put the screw back, or this one's getting trashed anyway. And then I'm going to take the handle here, also use to recycle some of the parts that might be useful to me in the future, as I've got a lot of the same hardware. Sometimes stuff's not so easy to get. Looks like glued on. All right, here we go. Yeah, I can trash those out and that's that. Recycled a little bit of hardware from them. It'll be useful for me for the future. On these, the top of the frame, just you can pull straight up and off. All right, taking out the rest of the shower Some door. you may have to remove a couple use a screws. razor blade to cut off the silicone. I undid the three screws that are on each side, took those out, and sliced through the silicone, and then just scrape off the residue. Use a scraper. It's a little bit safer. A lot of times I find out I'm just need to get it done with the with the blade. It's gotta be extra careful. Like always. Stuff can do a number on you if you're not super careful. And wearing gloves can be even extra trickier. So gotta be extra aware. All right. There we go. Now just to show you, I won't bother you showing you the whole thing, but you just take your razor blade and you can just kind of scrape it off. This is uh, like near adhesive. I always get this last as it builds up on the knife. So it's a lot easier to get all the silicone first. And that way your knife doesn't get so built up with stuff. You can see it is. Uh, your shower door finish may be different, so you may need to take different precautions. This one's a fiberglass one. So it's pretty forgiving for this. So. But you may not be able to do this on your shower drawer. Just showing you how I get mine done. I don't use uh, silicone or cock remover or anything. I just use the, the blade and that works really good for me. Yep, that's how I get them done. And then like I said, I just do this, the adhesive stuff last. As it builds up a little bit on the blade, you just gotta work it off a little bit. But that's it. All right, now same on the other two sides. All right, it's getting there. It's a little time consuming. But I show you these corners and then that green stuff, which I took off some of the lower green stuff, but what works good is a flat blade knife on the corners. And just kind of get over here.
again, my fiberglass tub is pretty forgiving, so your situation may be different. And this will just take a little further clean up in the corners. That's about how I attack these. the little screw holes. Uh, almond caulking will work good for this one. Okay. All right. Now for the green stuff. Just kind of get under it as much as I can. Some sticky gooey stuff. That went pretty good. Got mostly under it. Sometimes I use some of the other stuff to absorb it so it doesn't build up so much on my blade. There we go. Uh, trying to kind of absorb it into its thing. Pretty good. Little final. Looking out the last bit of the cleanup. Clean it all out with a rag. And you can use a little sandpaper for this fiberglass because it's all the same material all the way through. I usually find that I don't need to, but same things you can do with fiberglass. Yours may be different, so test in an inconspicuous space and use the information at your own risk. I usually just use the razor and clean it all up. All right, there it is, mostly getting there. Just now uh, a little final cleanup, caulking or siliconing again, the, the little holes, and then putting up the shirt curve shower rod, cutting the paint around the top there, where it's more visible, and it's a done deal. One's ready, 2020. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person's sinned and come short of the glory of God. 
but Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know it's not going to be long before everything's finished. Anyway, seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food. Um, and it's going to be a difficult situation, but uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross. So put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.